You're watching Telecom TV from the TIPS Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is David Del Vallatore, who is a TIP board member and also CEO Research and Development at Telefonica Core Innovation. David, good to see you again on Telecom TV. What's the latest news from Telefonica on your TIP-related trials? Yes. Yes, Latin America is uh, the natural place for Telefonica to try new, new stuff. Uh, for instance, uh, we are deploying uh, open-run uh, radio access networks uh, in Peru uh, today. We, we've been doing that for the last six, six months and, and we are actually in production mode, so connecting more and more people as we speak. And all of this is um, using the open-run technologies that we selected in the RFI that we presented uh, the result last year at TIP Summit. Open RAN has been gathering a lot of interest recently. Is it now at a more mature state or is there still more development work to be done? Yes, Open RAN is a new architecture for the access network. So it is a major deal, right? It's, it's not a small change, it's, it's a big change. So it takes time to get it uh, up to speed in the field, but that's the work that we have been doing in the last couple of years. So uh, now what we're deploying, by all means, it, it works uh, very well, particularly in the areas of Latin America where we're doing that. But there's still some room to grow, some room to improve. Uh, this is still uh, a little bit of early days, but not as early as one year ago. We're now deploying in the field. Our customers are happy. Uh, the stuff works pretty well. We hear that telcos have a major challenge in implementing CICD working methodologies. What's been Telefonica's experience? Yeah, so Telefonica is a digital services company and therefore we have many teams that uh, use all the digital technologies and all the software technologies. So we have that knowledge in-house, but now applying that to the network is a different uh, issue, right? And in that we're starting now, that's why we launched the uh, community lab in Madrid for CICD. Uh, with all these partners, with Tech Mahindra, with Altustar, etc., etc. And honestly, I don't think it's going to be too difficult because the, the uh, way of doing things, uh, it's already known. It's, it's not that we're inventing a new methodology. We're just applying a known methodology with engineers that know what they're doing. So I, I don't anticipate many, many problems here. We will be able to deploy uh, the new software provided by our suppliers in hours instead of, of months. This is a major breakthrough and it is easy. I mean, it's not that difficult, really. Let's look at some alternative RAN solutions for a moment. What's the reality behind HAPS, these high altitude platforms? Is there really a business case for HAPS and how are you involved in some of the early trials? Again, we are in early days and, and we are yet to see if um, non-terrestrial platforms will really uh, be an alternative to terrestrial platforms. Currently, we believe that for areas that are first remote and secondly have low population density, these are the best solutions and uh, the business case will probably work. But we still don't know. We are working on it. Uh, we are seeing the technology already maturing. Uh, while a lot of people are launching satellites, others have been working on this closer to Earth from, for many, many years now, and the technology is starting to deliver. So now, of course, uh, costs have to be tuned down and, and we need to uh, do all the work at TIP to interface between terrestrial and non-terrestrial um, networks, but uh, it's definitely worth our while because if this works, it's going to be quite important and, and quite a good opportunity for telcos. What's your message for the vendor ecosystem? What do you need them to deliver? So we're seeing some vendors that since uh, several years ago embraced this. They are working with us. They are, of course, going through the pain with us because this is a big transformation. And by all means, they are on board. And we're seeing others that are more in a wait and see kind of fashion. For those, if they're incumbents, I can even understand it. Though I would recommend them to, to step up to the new ages, right? And for those that are newcomers or that are, I don't understand. I mean, this is a great opportunity for anybody that has new technology, that has a, a, a new way of delivering it. Anybody that can really compete 
If they are not active participants in TIP, I don't understand it. Why? Because this is their opportunity. Thank you very much for joining us again on Telecom TV.